Hello guys, uh, in this video we are going to look at uh, how insecure direct object reference works and how one can exploit this uh, vulnerability but before we go ahead and you know, start the process I would like to let you guys know about our channel uh, we are uh, programming by Zart we provide lectures on various uh, you know, technology uh, aspects like uh, vulnerability exploitation, web app development uh, different tech, uh, tips and tricks, funny videos and a lot of stuff so I would prefer you guys to uh, you know, subscribe to our channel so uh, let's start our uh, lecture <coughs> I hope you guys have uh, already set up your web god lab if you guys have, uh, haven't set up your web god lab simply over to uh, its code.google.com repository and download it next you guys need to, uh, need to have uh, like a web suit any variant is going to work if uh, you guys use free variant it will also going to work okay uh, enough is enough now let's go ahead and uh, exploit the vulnerability here if you guys see uh, we have concurrency flaws uh, <coughs> so I, yeah, looks like I just missed it access control flaws and if you uh, guys see here does a path access control scheme this uh, is a uh, basically i door vulnerability this is uh, an insecure direct object uh, object reference uh, vulnerability the uh, actual uh, challenge is there is a guest user which has access to all files in the lessons underscore plans uh, slash english directory try to break the access control mechanism and access a resource that is not in the listed directory now the listed directory allows you guys to visit following uh, you know pages that are listed here okay uh, after the file uh, selection to a file we will put the report if access to the file was granted an interesting file to try uh, again and uh, obtain might be uh, file like uh, tomcat slash configuration file of uh, tomcat that is tomcat hyphen users dot xml so uh, now how we are going to exploit this file first of all we will simply uh, check out the mechanism by uh, sending a request and analyzing the response how it works so you will simply click on uh, simple file and if you guys see uh, file here is uh, needlesson.stm okay uh, now uh, if we see here properly there are two post parameters named as file and new lesson uh, request type is post you guys can see here and if we simply forward it what response do we get okay interception i am going to off it and there you go it says file is already in allowed directory try again so now what our motive is our motive is uh, to you know go ahead and access a file that is not allowed to be visited so uh, currently where it is it is in uh, this directory and if we go ahead and you know create a simple text file in C named as uh, <coughs> they are created test folder and here you guys are going to create a new text file secret this is a secret information okay so now if I copy the address here and go ahead select any file any random file and set interception as on again try to view the file and change this address here here if I change this address I will simply end up by uh, writing this and uh, then secret dot txt. Okay. Now, if I go ahead and uh, run it, what do I going to get? Forward, again forward. And, uh, 
access access to file directory uh, has been denied okay now we need to go back one two three four five six seven seven directories back now keeping that in mind i will again select it view the file change it and now i will uh, one two three four five six and seven because windows uses a uh, backward slash mechanism and if that is not going to work we can then move on forward mechanism 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now if you try to uh, forward the results what do we get now uh, <coughs> it says okay we again need to go one directory back still we need to uh, you know, go one directory back actually we need to move eight directories back not seven so again you the file right one two three four five six seven eight paste it here and secret dot txt now if i go ahead and forward it okay still it says 404 not found error and access to this directory has been Alright, uh, I guess so. Uh, we can only access directory from uh, file from this directory. So it's better if we go ahead and write move this secret.txt file into uh, this e directory here. And if we now go ahead and view some file, we should actually. Uh, Go same seven directories back two, three, four, five, six, and seven. <laughs> Secret dot text. Okay, now if we go ahead and forward it, what it can say is access to this file uh, has been denied. Why it is happening? error occur while accessing the file i guess so uh, this doesn't have uh, administrator access due to which the issue is being caused let's go ahead and look at this file where exactly it is available so uh, if we look at tools web uh, don't get configuration and tomcat uses dot xml edit it this is the configuration file and now i am going to do is <coughs> i am going to look at where exactly uh, we are like so let's simply forward it and see at which directory it is available already is in allowed directory and we are here so we need to come here at tomcat directory then go to conf then tomcat uses xml so if we uh, you know one two three four five if we go four directories back one two three four and then we write this thing we can access this file now let's try to uh, you know again accept select any file view it and one two three four Now if we forward it, 
where are we lying? Congratulations, access to file is allowed. Uh, we have completed this lesson successfully. You guys can see that viewing this file, and we are successfully able to this file. Great, we have completed this lesson successfully. So this is the way how you guys can go ahead and uh, inject insecure direct object reference uh, vulnerabilities in your own way. Hope this uh, clears everything about insecure direct object reference. Uh, if you guys have an issue, please uh, leave the issue in comments. Take care.